How's it going YouTube? It's a Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking again about FRP or Factor Reset Protection and I'm going to show you a updated method for August, September and I'm guessing it'll work in October but since I'm shooting this on the 28th I'm not sure but I think it'll work. So we're just going to show it to you. So this is my HTC 10 and I'm going to go ahead and hook up just to my Wi-Fi just so I have that functional. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and show you that the device is in fact FRP protection tripped. If you get that, you can hit accept. I didn't even get a chance to touch it because it went to another screen. But um, so you'll just see here that we do in fact have a Google account uh, locked device right here. So yes, continue by signing into a Google account that was previously synced to this device, okay? So the escalation method I'm gonna use here is seen in other videos I have. It may work on yours, it may not. I'm gonna show it to you on mine. So on this screen, I mean, this is really hilarious that Google hasn't fixed this. Um, <clears throat> you can come over here and you can hit this three dots and hit assist. And as you can see, this is going to go ahead and open up this Google uh, feature and hit no thanks. And then you can come up here and we can type in just about anything we want actually. So we can open any application. If I went into settings, I would show you that we are in fact on that September update uh, security patch. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to open Chrome because that's where we're going to go for this video. So we'll go over here. We'll go to Chrome. And this launches the Chrome application. Then we're going to go obviously to my website and download some applications. Uh, the one we're going to download, you guys have seen many, many times if you follow my channel. Um, and <clears throat> it's my standard FRP uh, application that basically allows you to sign into any Google account you want. So we're going to go here and we're going to download that application. Now, if your device has an SD card, it's way easier just to put it on the SD card um, as long as you have a file browser or a file browser built into the phone. If not, it's easier to download because then it's in your download application, which every phone has. So um, right here, you go to this one right here. Hit update permissions, allow Chrome. Hit OK and hit open. And I just want to show you guys that once you go ahead and click unknown sources and install this application, which you can see me doing, um, then what's going to happen is it's going to force close. And all you guys know this if you tried this on August or September security patches, that the FRP bypass application just force closes when you launch it. But that's what we're going to fix. We're going to make the application work again. Um, that's going to be the beauty of this bypass method, which is really, really cool. So we'll hit, um, not done, we want to hit open. And just show you, see, unfortunately, FRP bypass has stopped, okay? So we're going to fix that. That's the next step in the video here. So to do that, you're going to go back to my website, and right here I will have listed very shortly for you the application you're going to download, um, and it'll be listed right here, and you'll see it's going to be called Android 6 uh, Google Account Manager, and just download that application, all right? So mine just went ahead and downloaded, so now I'm just going to back out of this, and we're just going to get back to where I can go into Assist again and go back to downloads because you can you can launch any application from here which is really really awesome so we're gonna go to downloads and there we go I'm gonna click on that file and here it is Google account manager so we're gonna go ahead and install Google account manager um, I'm telling you this is just it's insanely awesome so Google account manager is done just hit done go back install FRP bypass one more time and then what it's basically what we did Google account manager was updated by Google and basically what we did is we downgraded Google Account Manager back to an older version. I don't know why this is even possible. It should be blocked. But you can download Google Account Manager with that file. And now we have the uh, original shortcut method we had before by browser sign-in. So we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And then on this screen, you can enter any Google account you prefer. Um, so I'm going to enter my personal Google account to this device really quickly. So my device actually has two-step verification, which uh, I find quite important to have on my device. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, second part of verifying this Google account that I'm adding to this device, which is different than the one that it was locked to. All right, and it's verifying that, and we are done. So at this point, I can actually get out of this device and reboot, and it'll let me right through and pass those login screens. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the device. 
because at this point we have a device that is currently or an account Google account that is currently synced to device. So I mean, you guys have seen this method before if you watch any of my FRP videos. Basically what I'm showing you off showing off to you guys is that you can downgrade Google account manager. That's really the trick when it comes down to this. Um, that is the beauty of this feature. Um, and then if you want to get rid of factory set protection 100%, once you, once you boot up the device, get through the setup wizard, go into settings and wipe data factory set from settings. Um, and then once you reboot, all FRP locked accounts will be removed off the device and it'll be brand new and you can go ahead and use it like you prefer. So let me just show you what's different here once we do the setup. So you can see we already have a different terms of user agreement there. Um, and you're going to see that I'm hopefully going to cover up. Yeah, so add a, an account. So we don't even want to do that um, because we don't need to. We just added one. We synced one through the Google Account Manager browser sign-in feature. Um, just a sec screen sometimes takes a long time, actually. Uh, but I just want to show you that we're going to boot up here just so you can see that everything is legit. I mean, I did do some camera cuts, but that was just because I was putting in passwords um, that I don't want the public to have. So um, just wait for a second for the just a sec screen to go away. Sometimes this can take up to five minutes. Okay, so there you go. It went off the just a second screen, and it's asking me what I want to like switch my device over, or I want to restore any of my data. Uh, I'm just going to say don't restore for right now. Um, interesting. Almost complete all following apps. That's fine. Uh, date and time. No, skip my fingerprint. And here we go. So that is it. We are finishing up the boot up process. So there you go, guys. That's the video. You obviously can see that we are into the device. We've bypassed factory reset protection on the HTC 10. Like I said, this should work on any device. The method to get into the device and be able to install applications will vary from device to device. I mean, you can try real term if you are on Samsung. I did a video on that. You should definitely check it out. Um, and other methods to escalate privileges into your devices. But these two applications together should do the job, at least when it comes to uh, the September and August security updates and Android Marshmallow 6.0. So I don't know if these will work on Android Nougat 7.0. Probably need to do some testing on that, but give it a shot. Maybe it'll fix it for you. So hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for more, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.